All right. Good morning, everyone. Hey, everyone. Whoa. So Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Friday, May 1st, May Day, we were supposed to be opening everything in Vegas, but we're not. So, hey, has anyone been checking out Elon Musk on Twitter? Elon Musk is, like, he's declaring, like, revolution, you guys. He's saying this is not right, that they're taking away our rights and that they don't have the right to tell us that we have to stay in our homes. And he's saying he wants to sell all of his houses. The guy is, he's tired of this, and he said, <laughs> basically, sell Tesla, tell your, sell your Tesla stock. He just tweeted 15 minutes ago. About two hours ago, he, he let everybody know in the stock market, hey everyone, in my opinion, the Tesla stock price is way too high. Yeah, so he's saying basically like that to sell your stocks. So this is crazy. So people are like, oh, he's losing his mind. What's happening is he's wakening up um, to what's going on, you guys. If, if you are still living in this bubble, like everything's okay and like what's going on it is okay and like this was all for this deadly virus, then you are out of your mind because, oh, guess what? So check on Elon Musk's Twitter. Um, he... He retweeted this thing, um, showing these all these numbers. It was this article, and it's amazing, guys. The numbers are coming out, and it's so ridiculous. So they were saying, you know, that there was going to be like these huge numbers of people that w it was could be affected, and da da da. And then now they're realizing it's like 0.1 percent of people are being affected in the world, which is not nearly what they were saying before, and um, like. They said 99% are like over 75 years old that are dying. And the ones that are young that are dying already have some sort of health condition. Those are the real statistics that are coming out. All of this thing where they're saying, and Elon Musk is saying they're fudging all the numbers. You guys, and they keep exaggerating these numbers and saying numbers that are not even true or focusing on the numbers of like people affected versus the numbers that have recovered. So hundreds of thousands of people in the U.S. have recovered. That means it is not a deadly virus. That means it's a virus that you can recover from. Every virus kills people. So you could say every virus is deadly if you're going on that term. But when they're trying to say it's a deadly virus in the sense of that it comes in and just wipes people out and the healthy die and that more people are dying than recovering, that's what they've been implying. That's why they shut everything down. But that's not what's going on this is actually a regular flu virus and the numbers are coming in so low of the people affected and the people that have died and their the numbers there go check it out elon musk um just yesterday tweeted the article and i was reading all the stuff it was um the numbers in new york were the some of the numbers they were looking at in new york city um but you guys this and Governor Sislek just extended the stay-at-home order for 15 more days, which Elon Musk is saying this is unconstitutional and that it's they don't have the right to tell us that we have to stay home. And the problem is everyone is still believing that this is for a flu virus and that it's for our health, and that's absolutely not what the Elon case. What Elon is really mad about yesterday is that he pulled up some facts where they're counting every death as a coronavirus. Death. Yeah, that's what I was that's already saying, too. Remember it, what I said, if anyone is affected by the virus and then if they recover but if then they die by anything like even like an automobile accident they're counting it a coronavirus death even if they had recovered and they were fine and they died because they can say oh they got the coronavirus and then they died so they're using those numbers and so they're really falsifying the numbers and trying to exaggerate because you guys the government just fucked with us and they're scared once everyone realizes it and people like Elon Musk is starting to realize it and that's why he's saying fuck this he wants to sell all of his houses um, he said he has one uh, who is it Gene Kelly uh, Gene, he owns Gene, Gene Wilder. Wilder he has a Gene stipulation Wilder. on that house though Gene Wilder he owns Gene Wilder so he house. has one stipulation if whoever buys Gene Wilder's house cannot destroy it they have to leave it as is. But he, yeah, yeah, he owns Gene Wilder's house. But he's house. not going to own a house. He's but he doesn't want to own a house anymore. He's making a statement. He's basically saying, fuck the society right now because society right now is wrong, you guys, and it's messed up, and it's all of these greedy people are controlling our lives, and, um, and we're just like these little pawns in their little game, and like 
people are losing their livelihoods. They're losing their lives now. Suicide is going up. They're seeing like more deaths occurring because of the coronavirus. That's some new numbers that were coming out yesterday. I read an article. Um, all of these things are coming from official things now, you guys, where they're saying they are seeing that there's been now deaths occurring because of the impact of what society did, not the actual virus. But the fact of these shutdowns, they're seeing more depression and suicide and um, you know people are getting more overweight because they're just sitting at home bored and eating and so then they're having more health conditions due to weight and all kinds of things and then just um, this is all not necessary you guys if you have to stop believing that this was necessary if you continue to believe that nothing will happen in the sense of making this better you're only progressing the nonsense if you sit there and you say the government did this for our well-being you are lying to yourself and if you're watching this blog you know i'm telling the truth because why are you watching me i'm just some girl sitting here in my own apartment in my crappy apartment in Las Vegas and you can be thinking you're hating on me but you're watching me for a reason because something is going on that is bigger than all of us and the government is out of control right now the fact that they think they can just tell us what to do shut down our business say which businesses are essential and which ones aren't like say construction is essential during this which makes no sense if that was for our livelihood of health yeah that's a very interesting point you bring up is and so people like Elon Musk are now saying, this is out of control. I'm not the only one saying it, you guys. He's one of the wealthiest people and smartest people in the world I would right say now. he's probably the smartest billionaire. Smartest billionaire. And people are going at him online, like, saying the nastiest stuff, like, just because he's saying the truth. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is Elon Musk, and they're calling him the nastiest of names and things, and just, uh, you know, calling him all kinds of things. And you're like, wow, people are out of control. They don't don't want to accept the truth because the truth would mean that they maybe got punked themselves so if you're someone that believed that this was for our well-being that it was because of a deadly virus you're really clinging on to that because you don't want to admit that you were wrong what up jedi you're waking up to the force of your power thank you whoever said that i uh, really appreciate OG it Princey, thank you thank you yes and uh mr uh Elon Musk there is opening up to be a Jedi too and uh, giving away all it, or you know I see them give it away by getting rid of his possessions and um, all of these tweets that he's saying this is like revolution you guys and this is for coming from Elon Musk so you could have laughed at me and thought oh Jedi Joy sitting there she don't know squat blah 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 why she didn't know doctor she ain't done this da, da, da. well this is Elon Musk now who <laughs> we build rockets and uh, sent a car into the moon <laughs> up into space remember we said that car up into space you guys and then he's building like this insane tunnels here of these crazy transport trains they want to do from like um, one from here to LA where you can go really quick and all kinds of stuff they're working on here in Nevada um, so he's a good person to listen to <laughs> I would listen to him he's very intelligent and he is saying what the government is doing is wrong and that they don't have any right to do what they did to shut down the business to say some were essential and some were not that was not that was not right they had no right to do that and then to now um say that we're um, supposed to stay home they have no right to tell us that and now they're already talking about taking more and more of our rights away making like more restrictions like saying it'll be mandatory to wear masks or things when you fly on airplanes or just weird little stipulations and this is what they do every time they use something like like after 9-11 they use terrorism as a way to take away our rights like um prior to 9-11 there weren't so many stipulations and regulations and um you know uh, so sh so strict at the airport and then after 9-11 they just i mean the airport became like nazi town there especially right away it was so insane they were taking old ladies like knitting needles and stuff and the ladies would like to knit while they were on the plane and they oh i should use that as a weapon it was insane and they do this every time and now they're using this regular flu virus a virus that is killing the regular number of people that a regular flu virus kills every year people die from the flu virus 
and around 50,000 or so in the even more than that in the US and then around 650,000 or more um, worldwide and that's all we did was track a regular flu virus and we documented every death and instead even as Elon Musk is saying as well they're even exaggerating to where they're documenting even more so they're counting people that weren't even normally considered in those virus deaths so they're taking it to extreme and we're still only seeing the numbers come out around 50 or 60,000 in the US I don't know what it is worldwide now I didn't look at the number today but it's way lower than they wanted, even with them fudging the numbers. And people are still believing. I don't know why. Okay, for one thing, all you have to do, it's as simple as this. All you have to do for yourself is you have to say, are more people recovering or more people dying? It's as simple as that, and then you can determine how deadly the virus is. And you guys, hundreds of thousands in the U.S. are recovering. And we're talking about 50, 60,000 that have died that were already ill. So you can tell yourself right there, wait, this is a virus that most people are recovering from if they get it anyways. So why would we shut down the whole U.S. and especially Nevada for a virus that if most people got it, they would have recovered from? And that's what's happening, including Tom Hanks and his wife, who got it early on, like in March. And then, you know, in the next couple weeks, they were singing hip hop songs and they're like in their 60s. Right away, I was like, oh, OK, you can recover and this virus ain't so bad. And I met some people that knew people that had had it and they said oh yeah you know you just and so I was like right away I was like oh we could recover why are we shutting down and this is back in March and then I've been saying that I've been saying that and oh deadly 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 really because all I see is a majority of people recovering so that would make it not a deadly virus and you say oh people died so it's deadly yes if you use that category then every virus is a deadly virus and we have those every year oh we have a deadly virus every year then if you're going to say because it killed people because every year people die from viruses. In fact, every day people die from viruses. A large number of people, I don't know that number, but someone probably knows it, someone tracks it, I'm sure, of how many die every day when we don't have this kind of virus going on, just a regular viruses that whatever is going on people die so but every year we get a flu epidemic virus that comes through for a couple months and we get around 50,000 or so in the U.S. and around 650,000 worldwide die all we did was track that on social media this time and the government shut down everything and they're pretending that it's for this virus and really it's all political and the biggest reason is because the Democrats want a Democrat to be president this term coming up. Remember, the elections are this year in November. Okay, I'm going to so, but this is not the flu. This is a more deadly virus. Well, we had the advantage of having the Internet. So Tom Hanks got this flu in Australia back in February. We all watched him get better and recover from it. Mm -hmm. He is 70 something or years old, his wife did too. Two people right there. If that's not enough evidence for you guys to use your own brain to realize it, that means ergo what? Is it deadly or not if people survive? Yeah, exactly. But here's the other thing, you guys. Uh, every virus, um, people die, and then also viruses don't have cures. People are under this assumption that this is the one virus doesn't have a cure. No virus has a cure. The way you get over a virus is you have to get the virus and then get an immunity to it. And the way you get the virus is either you get it by getting sick, like some people are getting like, and now yet they have an immunity, or they give you an injection, like a flu shot, which is giving you part of the virus, and then you build an immunity to it. That's why a lot of people get sick when they get a flu shot. That's all a flu shot is, is they're injecting you with the flu, and then your body builds immunity to it, so that when it comes, if you were to get it from someone else, you'll already have an immunity to it. And some people actually get very sick just from the flu shot. Other people's immunity is good enough that they get a flu shot and it doesn't really phase them. And then they never get sick and then they skip that year's flu. But each year they got to do a new one. So next year we're going to have a coronavirus flu shot. That's what they're making right now. That's all it is. They do that every year. And the year after that we'll have another one. So all you're doing is you're tracking what happens every year. But now we have more social media than ever. So people are acting like it's an epidemic. 
and it's not. It's the regular flu that comes every year. They're stronger every year. That's why we got to uh, do new flu shots. That's what happens. Things evolve. Here you go. Here you go. You guys are focusing on, the, this is the glass half empty, half full. You're all focusing on the percentage of how, what's the death rate that it does. Well, how about the survival rate? The survival rate, if you get coronavirus, is 99.95%. Mm -hmm. How's that for you? If yep. you get the flu, it's 99.94%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys, it's 99.9% .9 that you will survive if you get the coronavirus. Only 0.1% of people are dying. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. That means if you get the coronavirus, 99.9% .9 means you will recover. That's your odds. I think I'll take my odds. I don't know why they shut down for those odds. Gee Louise, I'll roll the dice on that one. Shit. So if you're believing this stuff, it's because you just don't want to admit that you were wrong. And the longer you do this, the longer it's going to be harder because you're going to look stupider at the end. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because more and more people are waking up, and especially like Elon Musk. So if you continue to believe the lies when it all comes out in the end, you're going to look dumber. So like wake up now before the sink, the ship is already sinking. You just need to wake up and realize that it is before you drown. And that's it, you guys. I'm done today. I'm, I'm a little bit irritated with people because um, no one seems to listen, even though, like, you can just tell them till you're blue in the face that it's not a deadly virus and that 99.9% .9 of people are recovering. But they just want to believe the hysteria. They want to read the headlines. They want to listen to what the news tells them. For one thing, if you're only getting your facts from the news, you are not doing yourself a favor because you need to educate yourself. Like, go read the real official documents. Don't listen to what a journalist regurgitates. So you don't even listen to what I'm saying. Go read for yourself. And the stats are out there. You can read the official documents coming out now from medical, from government, from any kind of thing that's official. Those things are coming out. But what's happening is that the media is then choosing to twist it in ways that create hysteria. Even without lying, you can focus on things, say, like, hundreds of thousands of people affected. Yes, that's true. But hundreds of thousands of people survived. And only 0.1% died that were already ill. That's not what they're saying. They're saying, hundreds of thousands of people affected, and this one 17-year-old died, and Susie Lou lost her grandma and didn't get to say bye. And blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? I'm sorry, but everyone loses a grandparent. That's a part of life. And that happens every year and every day. And I've and don't act like, oh, you don't know. My mother killed herself, and my brother died in a motorcycle accident two years after that, and I've lost... Like three of my grandparents, um, and all the ones above that. So I know losing loved ones sucks, but you don't shut down the goddamn world for someone's grandparent. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's the other side of it too. See, all these people that are freaked out, are, it's this new generation. See, they all live at home. They're all being taken care of by their parents and their grandparents. Even their parents get taken care of by their parents. So, of course, they don't want their grandparents to die because those are the ones who have been, they've been living at home, feeding out. So they get scared. So mommy tells them to stay inside. So everyone here that says, oh, my gosh, it's a deadly disease. 60,000 people died. Well, you all, I'm guessing, are probably living at home with your mommy. Or if you're not, you probably talk to your mommy or your daddy every single day. Or you have kids, so you're just so worried. Like, oh. For one thing, kids are surviving this. When you hear like this case where they'll say like one kid and they'll say the age I guarantee that kid has health problems and they say oh they're healthy what is your definition of healthy I'd like to know someone's definition of healthy because healthy is pretty subjective and a lot of times healthy means they're eating way too much sugar they're doing way too much caffeine they might even be doing alcohol at a certain age 17 year old be doing alcohol cigarettes all these other things for one thing this is a respiratory um, virus okay. so if, if a young person was smoking cigarettes Cigarettes. Kids are done. Okay, see, here's the thing. You guys watch too much TV. You see, the thing is, you're screaming about kids dying. 
Tell me one kid that you know that died from this virus. And tell me one kid that they uh, that they verified that this kid was truly healthy without them just saying healthy. If I hear one more time, a healthy kid died. Okay, I want to see that kid's medical history. I want to know what he was he or she was eating on a daily basis. I want to know if they had any prior health or heart conditions, you know, and or respiratory conditions. I want to know all these things. I don't want to just hear a healthy 17-year-old died. Healthy is just an adjective. Someone said if Vegas is closed, move to a state that is open. And I think that's what a lot of people are... Yeah, I just saw there was a moving truck out there and people were... I was like, are they moving in or out? Oh, they're moving out. <laughs> they were going down the stairs with their stuff. So, anyways, you guys, I'm going to get off here. You all just need to wake up if you still believe this is deadly virus. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, go read about Elon Musk is tweeting today. That guy's on fire. He's awesome. Way to go, Elon. He's turning into a real Jedi. May the force be with y'all. All right, Jerry Rich. What? I'm done. I'm done blogging today. Oh, you're all done? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a quick one today. I am keeping it quick today. Oh, dude. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining in, and be sure to follow and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, come check us out on JediRich.com. That's our our personal website. There's no spam in your current. Some people go, quick bait. I'm like, to what? It was like a photography and art and music website, you know? It's like, it's just for our fun. Thank so you, you just enjoy yourself. Thank you for the broadcast. Oh, th oh thanks. I'm glad you guys enjoyed there was it. A, there was a lot of people out there that were trying to, you know, smear you as misinformation, of course, saying mm -hmm. that you don't know what you're talking. And that's what happens. I mean, mm -hmm. they do the same thing. They're saying Elon. the same with Elon Musk. They do it's so anybody funny. who disagrees Watch with what them. they're saying to Elon Musk right now. And Elon Musk is one of the most intelligent people right well, now. I know. I mean, that's what cracked me up. Is I'm when like, these guys, oh, man. When these guys call Elon Musk a moron. Yeah, when they're saying, wow. like, no, they said, stick to rocket science. You're like... <laughs> That was the best one. I love that quote. If I was Elon Musk, I'd make a meme out of that one. That's a good one. Stick to rock. You know what? Stick to rock. Exactly what I'm you don't know it's anything. called virus research. You, say you don't know anything. Stick to rock. So thank you everyone for watching. Hey, we'll be back tomorrow or maybe even later today. Yeah, maybe. I'm, 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 I'm feeling a little bit irritated because today was supposed I'll to be... I'll be back to hear that cigarette voice of hers. That's funny because that's another subject. But that, you know, I know you're being mean and you're trying to be cr crass, but oh, the thing is... Oh, yeah, that's because I was bulimic and I talk about all that Right, that's another thing that we talk about here is food, diet, and... I actually have never smoked a cigarette in my life. Not even one. I've never tried it. I never thought it would be a good idea because all I've ever heard was it was super addictive and everyone always wanted to quit. Right, Matthew. So I said, why try? Matthew, can you say that? Can, have you I never was, smoked a cigarette, Matthew? I was bulimic for 15 years, which I talk about all the time. And that's why I talk about my bulimia recovery and nutrition. So. Right. Anyways. All right, you guys. Um, I will catch you all later. And uh, take off those masks. They're cutting off the Thank oxygen you guys in your for brain. Everything. It was a great, day. great, great. Oh yeah. Tonight. Also, come. Oh, we're on um, YouTube. Jedi Rich Creative Producer. Just search Jedi Rich, and it'll pop up. Ooh, Jedi Rich has been putting all these blogs over there, so um, you can. Yeah, so you can go over there and comment there and tell us how you really feel. Yeah, and let us no, know. No, we like it because it's challenging because these are how the people feel. We need to dispel it's these rumors. It's good to know too. You guys are helping us by telling us what the media is telling you. You're telling us what they're, what you're brainwashed as, and of course you believe it. It's also good to hear even your negative input because we can learn from that. You go, oh, okay. You know, like you can learn from someone's, they think they're giving this negative feedback, but it's still feedback. Right, and the thing is, is that the government is, good point. Fanti Loves Labs makes a very good point that the government is looking to see how many stupid people there are that will believe anything they see on TV. Mm -hmm. And the way they count is how many fucking masks there are. Yeah, all those so masks. So if you're wearing a mask, the government says, okay, cool, that I'm person will believe you, anything. I'm not joking about it, cutting off the oxygen in your brain. Like, just having that on. <laughs> yeah, you know, it does that's do that, a, too. It does do that. No, no people that do that, people were into that um, sexual thing where you cut off the oxygen. Or at the gym. They, at the or gym at the gym, too. and it helps you work out and stuff. But that's what you're doing with your mask if you're wearing that regularly, is cutting off and so you might be getting a rise out of it some people are sexually they like that they like to not you know so right, you guys so, might be digging it so but. some of the things we talk about we'll also talk about food diet and nutrition and eating disorders which is also I think directly related to this if everyone is so concerned about health let me ask you a question why are yeah, you buying you, all what that what are you sugar? putting in your body why on a daily basis why are you eating all that crap I yeah, mean everyone's you telling you wearing surgical masks while you guys are smoking cigarettes yeah we see that people take off their surgical masks to smoke a cigarette that's it the makes, best it makes thing. zero sense to me that's the best so, thing. So I've that's seen. the best part. If you think the government has your best interest, then why is it that they're selling you cigarettes and alcohol and surgical masks? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all for today. Are you guys ready for COVID 20? Dude. 
Are you kidding? COVID-20? We're already on COVID-21. You're way behind. See, here's the thing. See, we're going to have the flu shot for this one this year, and then next year we're going to have another one that literally we could do the exact same thing. I hope we'll learn and not do the exact same thing. But then, yeah, we're going to have a flu shot for that one and so forth, so forth every year. So like that person said, COVID-20, I mean, yeah, I was teasing yesterday, the next one will be Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. <laughs> Bud That's Light virus. Hilarious. Did you guys know that some people that Corona lost so many sales because people thought it was connected with the? Uh, Are you kidding? Oh yeah, they lost billions of dollars in the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so explain that. Okay, explain that. People the thought it had people. to do with the, the same beer. people that are calling. The- in the very beginning, when they were just calling yeah. the coronavirus before. That's hilarious. Yeah, they lost billions before the shutdown. Um, and people thought it was connected. They said, oh, I'm going to drink a Corona. A coronavirus going around. <laughs> I know. So, so the same people who watch the news, who, who, who stop buying Corona beer, are the same people who are wearing the surgical mask. Mm-hmm. And also, someone just asked, they heard that a bird flu is coming around now. Is that... Oh, uh, for one thing, uh, pigeons do not spread the bird flu. No, I think so they're I'd talking like about the that. bird flu from yesteryear. Yeah, I don't know about that, but... Um, no, you remember... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's... I don't know. That, I don't know. I haven't read okay. that. But, Anyways, but, off subject now. No, oh. but pigeons do not spread bird flu. People think that. And pigeons are very clean animals. There's this misconception that they're dirty and they be able to fly true. at rats that's and true. stuff. Oh, that's not true. Um, pigeons are actually true very they're clean. clean. They're very clean. The only thing that people don't like is that they poo, but their poo is actually very clean, too. I've been having to clean it up now because they've been pooping like crazy since I feed them. And it's, it's very clean. It's just organic. Um, you know, it's just it's just just like we poo. That's a part of life. People act like it's such a big deal. It actually comes off very easily, especially if you pressure wash it. It just comes right off. Um, and that's the big thing why people don't like pigeons. Oh, they poop. Well, so do you. And our waste goes somewhere too. And there's a lot of it. There's a lot there's of human just waste. Calcium, though. Yeah, there's but we have a lot calcium. of human waste with a bunch of toilet paper and wipes and and tampons and shit wrapped in there, which makes it just even nastier. We are way nastier than the um, other creatures on this planet. And you go, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, well, that's what we do. So you should be disgusted because that's what we do. And then we have the audacity to be mad at other creatures for pooing and say, don't feed them because they're pooping on oh, my I car. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got my car watching you kill the birds because like just pee from a car get washed fuck you they were here before you and they're smarter than us birds are super intelligent so you really should be nice to the creatures that have been here longer and are wiser and are more in tune with the universe this idea that we are smarter than the animals is insane well that's a very very interesting thing because if you look at these pigeons they look very similar to dolphins Mm-hmm. You know, their faces, they sound like kind of cool. You know, they, they're so sweet. Yeah, and they're really intelligent. They will wake your ass up when you're hungry too. We hear them. They're just the sweetest. True, thing. they're a part of nature. They're so sweet. They're, they're a part so of nature. Cute. And then uh, a lot of people think that, like, because we eat meat, that we don't love animals. Oh, yeah. See, that's a misconception, too. And um, that's what I talk about on all my blogs. Well, often, yeah. Um, is you can truly love animals and still eat meat. Um, Eating um, meat is a part of life, and it's also you gain knowledge by eating animals. And the way you can feel better while you say what animal cruelty is by choosing organics. We only eat organics, GMO-free, no um, antibiotics, no steroids, no hormones, cage-free, pasture-raised, grass-fed. I mean, they have all these options, and we choose all of those options. Um, so then you know the animal is treated fairly. They have, uh, uh, they have humane, they have things where they say humane treatment. All these things you'll look at the packaging. It's usually on the organic ones, and we do all organics. Um, then you know the animal was treated fairly. Then you can feel good about eating that animal. Um, but eating animals is a wonderful part of life, and it's the best nutrition you can get because nothing is better protein than animal protein. It has the best um, protein to fat to um, carb ratio, which is zero carbs, which is just the most amazing. There's really no other protein out there that has zero carbs to the amount of protein and fat. They're always going to have more carbs, all of those vegan and vegetarian options. And then also the fact they're artificial. Like I've told you guys before, you're body doesn't know what it is your brain don't so it produces more insulin because everything breaks down the sugar so if it doesn't know what it is it'll just produce insulin thinking it was sugar <coughs> excuse me it's from my bong hit earlier it's funny i always get like this one cough like about an hour after i do a bong hit and you know it's from it because you can i don't know it's hard to explain you can just tell um 
because you feel like you need to cough for about an hour after that. Maybe that's why. Then you finally cough. Anyways, so people think. So my voice is. I do smoke weed, but my voice is not from that. It's um, because I was bulimic for 15 years, and it was way worse uh, about three years ago. I could barely speak. Now I've been improving it by trying to sing and stuff. People make fun of my singing. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't speak like three years ago. So. <laughs> I sing for fun now. Yeah. It's like it's like amazing that I can even sing at all, you know. Because all right, love the black cat. Yeah, it's the beast mode. Beast mode. Yeah. yeah Remember. So, so oh yeah. So all this is beast mode. So so here's the deal. So uh, Marshawn Lynch came to um, well. He never actually made it to Vegas, but, you know, he played for the Raiders, but he brought a store and all of his stuff to Vegas, like, even before the team got here, and there was a store at Town Square here, and we got all this Beast Mode stuff um, a couple years ago now, and then it closed, you know, and, of course, he went back to Seattle. But so we have all this Raider Marshawn Lynch um, gear. And it's kind of cool. Like, Jarvis has a um, Raiders jacket that's a beast mode. People are like, oh, you're wearing his stuff. He ain't with the Raiders no more. Like, yeah, but we got it when he was. So, And he and we got it in Vegas. The store was cool. It was it was so inexpensive, too. It was the best store. And, it was taking care of locals. It was really cool. It was the best thing. And, then, of course, it went out of business because people here in Vegas were leaving. So someone said that... Um well, if animals were really smarter than us, then they would be driving cars and they would be flying airplanes. And, and we no, because in instead they have us doing all that and they just get to sit back. Oh my gosh, the dogs have you guys trained. Are you kidding me? Oh, Your point. dog's got the best life. He ain't got no job. He makes you guys bring the food for him. Tell me who's the smarter animal in the house. The one that's slaving to bring home the food or the dog that's got usually a nice cushiony bed, some food, some toys, you know, this and that. Yeah, animals know what's up. Same with the birds. They got us trained to feed them every morning. They'll start making such a ruckus until we get out there. Oh, jeez. You don't hear the birds until you hear the birds. You, you could go your whole life without hearing the birds, and then once you hear them, you hear the birds. You'll hear them through your AC, through your music. You'll hear the birds. And it's beautiful, actually. You should listen. Um, but, yeah, animals are uh, very intelligent. Um, and they have it set up pretty good. And you say, oh, the ones that are being tortured. Well, that's unfortunate. And that's why I don't eat conventional food, because I'm not up promoting that so if people chose organics then you would be choosing the thing that they would have to then everyone would have to move that way does that make sense like the a conventional continues the more you could choose conventional if you go for the cheap option then the animal cruelty continues but if you choose better options for your own well-being because it's good for you and for the animal then the cruelty can stop because people will stop buying that so then they'll say we want more organics which means always humane treatment like organics is all about treatment of the animals and the um, substance being good for you as well. So if the animal is treated right and not given hormones and steroids and all these antibiotics and uh, genetically modified, and not just the animals, the fruits and veggies, same thing. Those are given hormones and steroids, same thing in colorings and additives and things to make them uh, last longer and look a certain color and be a certain shape and size. So it's not just the um, animals. So that's why organics, you avoid all that stuff. And... Um, then you can feel good about the food you're consuming. And if you say, oh, well, I don't want to eat death, well, you do if you're eating plants because plants are living. And so is anything that's made in a lab. Once it becomes something, it's a living organism. Um, so you're always eating death. Okay. And death, people and things always scream when they're dying. That's okay. a part of the end of life. That doesn't mean it's awful. That's just your end like, of this well, which life. Which animal invented the iPhone? I'll tell you who did. The aliens did. The aliens came down here in 1948, and they had, a, had an iPhone. And we just reversed engineer it once we got the silicon chip when they crashed in 1948. Since then, we've been slowly building up to the point where we get an iPhone so that they can watch all the mean shit you... Business, I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin. This is not for you. 
on my jail. My feet with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day, yo. And it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down. Get down. Get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.